Welcome to Daily Technical Forex Forecast for the 5th of July. My name is Andrew Shaneski. I'm a technical analyst at Triumph Fix. And traditionally, we begin our forecast with the Euro USD currency pair. Well, the situation here is totally the same, so nothing has changed because uh, yesterday we have a holiday in the United States, and of course, the market was very thin. And you can see it from the volume chart here, from the volume graph. You see that really. Mm, volume yesterday was really small, it was very small, so uh, unfortunately we are unable to highlight any new volume level here. Besides it, you see that the price is trading in the local consolidation a little bit above the level of support 1.1309, 1.1329. So our previous scenario remains the same. Uh, we need to wait for uh, additional signal uh, for continuation of this uh, growth of the price and then we can open long position so after the test of this level and a strong rebound of the price on increased volume which is very important we open long positions with a stop loss set below the level 1.1309 and then wait for further growth of the price the potential of the deal is around 110 pips so for the yen until the breakout of this level it's very important we should consider only long positions our next instrument is uh, the pound. Well, here the situation is totally the same. Uh, we have a smooth correction of the price on very small volume, and we have a strong level of support 1.2897, 1.2910, uh, which is a cornerstone for trading this instrument because until the price breaks it down, we should consider opening only long position. So, the scenario of trading is pretty simple. We need to wait for the test of this level and a strong rebound of the price, a strong bullish impulse from this level. Then we can open long positions, a stop loss should be set a little bit below the level of support and the potential of the deal is 110, 120 pips. So for the pound also long positions are in priority. The Japanese yen. Well, the price is trading in the local consolidation near the local maximum uh, and uh, unfortunately if we take a look at our volume uh, you see that uh, it's very small and unfortunately we are unable to highlight any new volume levels or zones but still we have an uptrend, a strong uptrend for this instrument so uh, we should give preference to long positions but we need to get an additional signal to be able to trade it and to enter the market so such a signal will be a strong bullish impulse up and after that we can op open long positions and of course this impulse should be on really large volume so it's very important and then we s uh, place a stop loss either below the beginning of the fall or the level here so it's a level 112.70 so before this uh, un uh, below this level we can place our stop loss too so for the yen long positions are in priority the Canadian dollar well, situation here is really interesting for trading because uh, the price uh, has broken down the previous uh, level of uh, resistance, the lower boundary of the consolidation, and you see that it uh, exited from this range and now it's trading below it, so it's a good sign uh, for the continuation of the global downtrend. So we need to wait for a smooth correction of the price to get a better uh, entry point and of course a better risk profit rate. Then we open uh, short positions and wait for further growth of the, uh, for the fall of the price. Sorry, uh, and uh, our stop loss should be placed above this uh, higher boundary of the consolidation. A potential of the deal is more than 100 pips. So for the Canadian dollar, it's a pretty good situation for opening short positions. Uh, the Australian dollar, well, everything remains the same here, we have a strong global uptrend and we have a local strong and abrupt fall of the price, so really in such a situation the best decision will be just to stay out of the market and wait for uh, um, or observe observation of this level or for some creation of uh, new volume levels that can be used for trading this instrument. And our last uh, instrument is gold. Well, situation here is also pretty interesting because uh, the price showed a correction, upward correction, but this correction was on small volume, so that it shouldn't be considered as a reversal signal. If we take a look at our uh, volume chart, well, here we can see that this level contains pretty large volume, and now the price is testing this level, and uh, 
we need to wait for the reaction of the price for the strong reaction of the price to be able to trade this instrument so of course given the strong downtrend and such an abrupt fall of the price last week we should consider opening short position so we need to wait for the strong bearish momentum from the current level or after the one more test and then we see a strong fall of the price then we can enter the market open short positions the stop loss should be set above the level of uh, resistance it's 1226.00 1228.70 and the potential of the fall is more than 120 pips so for gold short positions are in priority let's take a look at the sentiment of the market well here nothing has changed too because uh, uh, all our deals are confirmed by this uh, by this indicator only the Australian dollar well the situation here is difficult uh, for trading so I advise you to stay out of the market for all other instruments uh, we can trade them just wait for a good entry point so overall we have two pretty interesting uh, scenarios and situations for trading they are the Canadian dollar and gold uh, if we talk about uh, the pound the euro and the Japanese yen well here situations are also pretty interesting but we need to get a good uh, confirming signal to be able to trade this currency pass so for today it's all thank you guys for watching hope this forecast will be useful for you see you tomorrow bye bye